where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has hidden unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. One of my favorite prophets is Jeremiah. He was called at a young age to be God's prophet to more than five decades worth of people who wouldn't listen to him. Let me read his calling to you in Jeremiah 1, 5 through 10. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, behold, I do not know how to speak, for I am only a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am only a youth, for to all to whom I send you, you shall go, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have set you this day over nations and over kingdoms to pluck up and break down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. There's a lot we could talk about here, but let's focus on verse 8. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. God was going to send Jeremiah to many different groups of people, often with a message of warning. And in case you haven't noticed, people don't normally like to hear that they're wrong, nor do they usually respond well. God didn't tell him this, but during his ministry, Jeremiah would have death threats, be put in stocks, thrown in prison, rejected by everyone. Would that mean that he was a failure? No. His mission was in verse 7. For to all to whom I send you, you shall go, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. So if he went where God sent him and said whatever God told him to say, he would be a success. Definitely not by the world's standards, but by God's standards. And God is all that counts anyway, right? God knew, though, that going and saying was going to be scary. In fact, his first assignment would be in just a few verses. Verses 16 through 19, he sent him to the cities of Judah. And I will declare my judgments against them for all their evil in forsaking me. They will have made offerings to other gods and worship the works of their own hands. But you, dress yourself for work, arise, and say to them everything I command you. Do not be dismayed by them lest I dismay you before them. And I, behold, I, make you this day a fortified city, an iron pillar, and bronze walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, its officials, its priests, and the people of the land. They will fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you. For I am with you, declares the Lord, to deliver you. Back to verse 8. God had declared, do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you. He would be confronting the king and other rulers and all the people with God's judgment. He was to be God's mouthpiece. The Lord would have his hand of protection on Jeremiah as he did this. So he told Jeremiah, do not be afraid of them. Now we don't often get the opportunity to be sent by God to the capital to proclaim God's judgment on our nation. Of course, if God sends you there to do that, you get on the next flight and go. But even if he did, we shouldn't fear. Where God sends, he provides his protection. But like I said, he doesn't usually send us off to Washington, D.C. to confront the president. But he might send us to a friend who's been cheating on her husband a co-worker who's been dishonest, a church member who's had some shady business deals, or a mother who frequently loses her temper at her children. Sometimes God sends us to confront others, and that's not an easy thing to do. It takes courage and boldness, not to mention confidence in God's leading to do something like that. After all, you don't want to lose a friend or to have someone mad at you. But God says, don't be afraid of them. 
Don't be intimidated into keeping your mouth shut and not obeying God's leading. In fact, there can be many thems in our lives that we can be afraid of. Anything God calls us to requires courage, whether it's confronting people, stepping out into the unknown, or trusting when we can't understand what God is doing. God's call always comes with, don't be afraid of them, whatever them is in your circumstance. Why should we not be afraid? For the same reason that God told Jeremiah not to be afraid, because God is with us. Did God keep Jeremiah from danger and suffering? No, and we shouldn't expect him to keep us out of trouble and trials either. But we can fully expect him to be with us in them and through them. Who or what do you fear? Isn't it time to boldly obey what the Lord wants you to do? You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like to share a treasure God has given you, by doing an episode, please contact us. You can listen to other episodes on our website, which you'll find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Thank you.